Deep in an underwater cave on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, a team of archaeologists make a groundbreaking discovery. The skulls of ancient Maya who ruled over a 4,000-year-old civilization. And perhaps most surprising was that these skulls had grills. The ancient history of grills is a little-known story, of which modern-day fans are mostly unaware. When you're wearing grills in your mouth, you get a sense of power and dignity. What people don't know is that grills have an unexpected history, one that goes back literally thousands of years. These grills, they want to demonstrate status. It's like saying, I, I'm successful in life that I can use gold in my teeth. Now I have money, so look at my teeth. Doesn't sound so different than what grills stand for today. So why do they get such mixed reactions? When grills first emerged in the US in the early 80s, it was through immigrants from the African diaspora who were going through tough economic times. Ironically, gold is one of the cheapest ways to fill a cavity. So many black neighborhoods in Brooklyn and the Bronx suddenly had all these people with gold teeth. Native New Yorkers started to get gold teeth as a fashion statement. And the rise of hip hop in the 80s led to a reclaiming of what they could represent, turning a sign of poverty into proof of empowerment. Grills finally went mainstream around 1996, when Vietnamese immigrant Johnny Dang began making his own blinged out version of them. My name is Johnny Dang. They call me the King of Bling, AKA the Grill Master. I would say that a lot of people out there, they have a misconception of grills. It's been a big part of our culture. Okay, so I remember being very small and seeing my grandma Flo with a gold cap right here and my auntie Mona with a gold cap right here. I'm educated. I have no felony criminal history. Just because somebody chooses to show them by putting it in their mouth makes them no different from the person that has eight cars. This wasn't cheap, so you got to be a hard worker to get something like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not cleaning your grill can cause bad breath. So make sure you still brush your teeth two to three times a day. Keep it polished, keep it shining, and keep smiling. 